Right now, you don't think there is anything sinister, though, behind this? I do not, but I'm not going to take any chances either. A school superintendent reacts to finding another 22 caliber bullet, this time on a school bus. For the second time in a little more than two weeks, school officials in the Bell Valley School District in Belleville find a bullet. Our Ray Preston asked the head of the school district what they're doing to keep kids safe. Well, you know, they've called the police. They've already done some locker searches. They've questioned students. Two bullets in a little more than two weeks, certainly raising some eyebrows. Thursday morning, a bus driver from the first student bus company checks his bus after dropping off the students at the school. That's when he finds the bullet. The bus went on two runs, one picking up junior high students, the other elementary school children. They were all questioned. We then took the, vi the uh, videos off the school bus and we viewed those and we came up blank. So the advantage of that is, you know, there's no weapon found, which is a good thing, but we still have no trace of where it originated from. On February 28th, another bullet was found in the hallway outside the fourth grade classrooms. Shortly after that, the Board of Education decided to add more security cameras and two emergency buttons in the offices. That if somebody hits these buttons, number one, it sends an alarm through the entire building, so the building immediately goes to lockdown. Number two, it calls the police immediately. Oberniefeman says he thinks one of the students is getting the bullets from home, and the parents don't know about it. And he's just carrying them around, and maybe they drop out of a pocket or a book bag. That's why we did the complete search. Um, do I believe there's a weapon involved? Probably not, but we're not going to take any chances. Well, late this afternoon, we talked with Belleville police. They say officers are still working the case, and there are a few more students that they'd like to question. Live in the newsroom, Ray Preston, News 4.